What if you could build a material with enormous empty spaces inside, so porous it's like a sponge at the molecular level? That's what a metal organic framework, or MOF, is. MOFs are crystalline materials made by connecting metal ions or clusters, nodes, with organic molecules, linkers. The result, a rigid, highly porous structure with enormous internal surface area. Why care? Because more surface area is more space for chemical interactions, storing gases, separating chemicals, catalysis, etc. The idea of coordination polymers goes way back mid 20th century, but MOFs in their modern form really took off around the late 1980s and 1990s. Richard Robson was among the early pioneers exploring these finite structures. Then came Omar Yagi, who introduced key concepts like secondary building units, SBUs, metal carboxylate clusters that act like rigid nodes in the frameworks, improving stability and allowing predictable design. Another big milestone, MEMOF5, also known as MOF1, synthesized by Yagi's group around 1999. MOF5 showed ultra high porosity and became a benchmark material. How MOFs work and key properties. Porosity and surface area, some MOFs have 90% of their volume empty space, with internal surfaces exceeding 5,000-7,000 meters per gram in some cases. That's massive. Tunability. You can change the metal node, the organic linker, and the topology, how the parts are connected. That allows tuning of pore size, chemical environment, stability. This is huge because you can design MOFs for specific functions. Functionalities. Adsorption gas storage, CO2 capture, separation, purifying gases, liquids, catalysis, accelerating reactions, sensing, sometimes even drug delivery, challenges and what researchers did to overcome them. Stability, early MOFs could collapse or lose their structure when exposed to moisture or real world conditions. Not useful if they degrade in air or water. Activation, to use the pores, you have to remove guest molecules like solvent without collapsing the structure activating the MOF while preserving porosity. Researchers develop strategies and materials that maintain permanent porosity. Synthesis scale and cost. Some MOFs are easy to make in tiny amounts in the lab, but scaling up, making them cost efficient, reproducible, and safe is non-trivial. Researchers are working on synthesis routes, water-stable MOFs, hierarchical porosity, macro, meso, micropores, post-synthetic modifications. Recent advances and real-world applications. The 2025 Nobel Prize in Chemistry awarded to Susumu Kitagawa, Richard Robson, and Omar M. Yagi for the development of MOFs. They each contributed different pieces, design, gas permeability, stabilization of frameworks, trends, open questions, and future directions. Customization and multifunction MOFs. MOFs that do more than one thing, adsorption plus catalysis, or selective separations plus sensing using multiple linkers or multiple metals to tailor behavior. Water stability, real-world resilience. MOFs that resist hydrolysis, maintain structural integrity in humid, wet conditions. Very important for environmental applications. Scale, cost, sustainability, using earth-abundant metals, greener synthetic methods, avoiding rare or toxic metals. Also finding cheaper solvents, milder conditions. Integration into devices, gas capture plants, sensors, membranes, catalysis systems, possibly battery materials or electronics. Also exploring MOFs with electronic properties, conductivity, semiconductivity, or magnetism. MOFs represent one of the most exciting materials. MOFs represent one of the most exciting materials in chemistry today. Molecules built with intention, pores with purpose, and promise for helping solve big environmental challenges. The 2025 Nobel Prize underlines that MOFs aren't just lab curiosities, they're real tools for a cleaner, more sustainable future.